Okay, now we're going to use trigonometry to find a side in a right angle triangle. Let's take a look. Let's start here. Okay, say here's the problem. We've got a right angle triangle. They gave us that's 38 degrees. This side here next to the right angle and next to 38 degrees, that's X, this vertical side. And this side here, this long side is 15. So our first job is to name the side. Well, 15 is opposite the right angle, so I hope you see it's the hypotenuse. And x is next to 38 degrees, so it's adjacent. So there's our first job done. x is adjacent. The 15 is called the hypotenuse. Now it's time for Sokotoa. That's right, Sokotoa. So we look. Adjacent and a hypotenuse. Which one of these is it? Adjacent over hypotenuse, that's cosine. So now we can make the equation. The equation is the cosine of 38 degrees, that's adjacent over hypotenuse, the cosine of 38 degrees is x over 15. Okay, well, that's all it. Now all we have to do is solve the equation. So we've got the cos of 38 degrees equals x over 15. Well, x is being divided by 15. All we have to do is multiply both sides by 15, and we're going to get what x equals. So 15 times the cosine of 38 degrees, just put that in your calculator, x must be 11,82 units. And your calculator just tells you that. And that's all there is to it. Maybe I have another question here. What if it works out a little bit different, though, so that you um, actually, um, let's try this question. We've got the sine of 38 degrees, but this time the hypotenuse is x, and the adjacent side is 15. So we, we make the fraction. It's still adjacent and hypotenuse, it's cosine. But this time, it's adjacent over hypotenuse is 15 over x. 15 over x. Well, now we've got to solve this equation. Well, what you do, whenever you have a, a, a one thing equaling a fraction, these two bottom guys can trade places. You could try it with numbers and see that it's just true. But these two guys can trade places. In, in an algebra thing, what you're doing is you're multiplying by x and you're dividing both sides by cos 38. You kind of do that all in one step. These guys trade places. And your answer is 15 divided by the cos of 38 degrees. Type that into your calculator. 15 over cos 38. Press equals and you'll get 19.04 units. Okay. So the x and the 38 degrees can switch places. So when you have x in the bottom, you're going to have to divide by the trig function. That's something else just to remember. Okay?